Welcome back to Catch and Cook California. This will be video number four on mushroom IDs and collection. We're going to look at the yellow foot. is alive. So we just came into a huge cluster of winter chanterelles. So these are not golden chanterelles, these are also called yellow foots. You can see it's got a hollow stem. You'll see that hollow usually on the other side as well. And then the stem is a bit more yellow in color than the brownish cap. And you can see the sort of primitive gills in sort of a brain-like branching arrangement. And they grow with the cap and stem as all one piece. So you never have that stem and cap as two different pieces, it's all one piece. So that's your winter chanterelle, AKA Yellowfoot, AKA Delicious. We're on the outdoor kitchen. So Kevin, at that, let's start this fire. All right. Hey, hey, what are you doing? What do you mean? This is Catch and Cook California. You gotta start it a different way than with a lighter. <laughs> all right, all right, touche. <laughs> what are you doing? Here's your post-apocalyptic fire starting method. Obviously, you're not gonna find this in the woods, but you never know. When society crashes and zombies are eating everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Get a nine volt battery, don't try this at home. Steel wool, extra fine. Look at that. Throw that in here. Boom. Just like that. Probably not the best thing in the world to breathe, but it sure works. Here we go. That's amazing how fast that caught, man. I know, right? The things you learn on Catch and Cook California. <laughs> Keep the new ways alive. <laughs> So we cooked our instant ramen, which is delicious, but we added a bunch of flavor to it. So we have our yellow foots, or our winter chanterelles also known, and uh, let's do a taste test. So good, man. Is it? Oh yeah. All right, check it out. We also got some seaweed in there that we gathered at the coast the other day. Yeah, bunch of yellow foots, some nice noodles. Mm. All right, I can't watch you anymore. You got to hold this thing. Mm, so good, man. All right, let's, let's dig in there. I'm gonna go for the seaweed first because actually I've been wanting to try that. It's got some spice to it, man. <laughs> Dude, the seaweed Ooh, is bomb. It's so mm. good. So that's that's lavar, um, the seaweed here, and it's super tasty. Here's a little winter chanterelle. Oh man. The flavor. So good, mm. right? One of the things we love about these winter chanterelles 
they keep their texture in soup, so they're like perfectly suited for ramen. So even if it's an instant ramen like this, I and mean, we had a couple hours, we're going away from school and then going back to write on our dissertation thesis kind of thing. But um, a little quick, quick, you know, a little cook up on the open fire. Boiled some water and, you know, dump the water right on the mushrooms, get them a little cooked uh, early on in the process. And then, um, yeah, mm. it's delicious, huh? Dude, those are so good. Yeah. Hmm. Well, now I'm standing here watching him eat. <laughs> Payback! <laughs> you remember that last video? Kevin can't have Yeah, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, thanks for watching, and until next time, keep the old ways alive. Here's your outtakes. Woo! Kevin's over here trying to start a fire with a lighter. <laughs> what is this? Cheating. What are we going to do, Kevin? Did you bring another method? I sure did. What do you got? This isn't staged at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's just chock full of all kinds of great mushrooms. Edible mushrooms. If you can identify them, you can have a great bounty. There's some just over here that are uh, very good. I'd like to check out. <laughs>